Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video I will explain you a bit about setting the risk for your strategies and how to create good portfolios. All right, so first things first, we're gonna learn how we can determine the risk and how we can set up our lot size settings to keep a strategy below a certain percentage of drawdown. We're gonna use the example that we created in our previous video, the optimization video guide, where we created this strategy for gold. This backtest shows the performance from 2012 to 2025 using a fixed lot size of 0.01. We had a drawdown, an equity drawdown of $92 uh, per 0.01 lots. So based on that, we can start setting our risk uh, in the lot size settings in the parameters. Let's go and do that now. So here we are at the lot size settings. Currently we're using manual lot size 0.01. And now we know that the strategy has a drawdown of 92 equity drawdown using 0.01 lots. Now let's for example, say we wanna run a strategy with a 30% maximum drawdown. So we want to make sure that if we run it long term, we will not exceed 30% drawdown. In order to do that, we're gonna to have to make some calculations to make sure that this 92 dollars is the 30% we're looking for. So to make it easy, we just take the calculator and we put in $92, which we divide by 0 0.3, so the 30%, gives us the number 306. So basically this means that if our balance would have been $306 and we had a 30% drawdown, that would be $92. Based on this calculation, we can now set the param parameters in the inputs, in the lot size settings. For example, if we would set this to 306, but we're gonna round it a bit up, 301, we should not get a drawdown more than 30% when we do an automated lot size calculation based on balance. So this, will, this means that for every $310 in the account, we will use 0 0.01 lots. Now let's say, for example, we're going to use a, to make it easy, $3,000 account. That means that the EA will start trading at around 0 0.1 lots in this example. Let's run a test and see if we can keep the drawdown below 30% as expected. All right, so I've run the back test quickly for you. This is the growth curve. As you can see, there's an exponential growth curve because we're now using automatic lot size, which increases the lot size based on the balance. And we use the inputs of 310 uh, lots per balance. So a lot, si lot size step of 310, meaning 0 0.01 lots for every $310 in the balance. The back test looks like this. These are the results. So we have a very nice growth here from $3,000 to $390,000 $390, um, of balance. And the drawdown we had maximum was 29%, which is below the 30% we were aiming for. Of course, you always want to make sure that uh, or you, might, you might want to take in consideration that in the future the drawdown might exceed a little bit the historical drawdown so it's always best to put a little bit more of a lot size step than the exact number of the drawdown you want to calculate all right so now we know how to uh, correctly determine your risk settings your lot size settings to keep a drawdown below a certain percentage the next step we're going to do is create a portfolio of different strategies different strategies, which, which all have their different maximum drawdown at 0 0.01 lots. So we want to make them balanced so that not one strategy has a much bigger drawdown compared to the other ones. That is key to creating a stable and balanced portfolio that will make your account grow much smoother than running just one strategy by itself. Now, in order to do this, there's a tool that you're gonna need, which is called Quant Analyzer. It's a free tool you can download. I'll put a link somewhere in the description below. And with this tool, we can upload different strategy tester results from the back tests and compare them. For example, I've uploaded here four to make some comparison. One is the strategy on out GPY. One was the gold strategy we did before. This one is a strategy on GP uh, pound uh, yen, and then one on US tech, so the NAS 100. You can see here, they all have a bit different drawdowns at their fixed lot size back test. These first three were done uh, at 0 0.01 lots, and US tech was done, if I don't uh, mistaken, at 0 0.1 lots, because 
the US DAC has a minimum lot size of 0.1 lots. So what we're now going to try to do is make that their drawdown is balanced. In this example, we're going to aim for a drawdown of 300. So for going to make some calculations for each one to that, so that they all end up with about the same drawdown, which will make them more balanced in a portfolio. In order to do this, this quant analyzer has a, uh, has a nice feature where you can adjust the lot size. So this was trading on 0.01 lots. And you could do a what if selection here, and we can change the lot size to 0.02. We create what if alternative. So here we can see the original our GPY uh, strategy, and this one is the one running at 0.02 lots, which has the double uh, drawdown, of course, as the original one. We're going to do the same for uh, the gold one. Well, let's call it gold. It's easier to remember. So the gold one is a drawdown of 92. We want to aim for around 300, which would mean we do uh, times 3, basically. So we're going to run at 0.03 lots to adjust this to the same lot size. Create alternative. So here we have that. You can see these have now about the same drawdown. The next one was GPP uh, yen, which has a drawdown at 0 0.01 lots of $74. So to get it to around 300, we're going to do times 4, which means 0 0.04 lots. There we go. And then the last one is US Tech, which has a drawdown of 51, but it's running at 0 0.1 lots. So in order to get this to 300, we have to go to 0 0.6 lots. This will be a little bit above 300 drawdown, but I mean, it's okay. It's, it's all close by. It's never going to be perfect. All right. All right. So now we have the four strategies adjusted to a drawdown of around 300. This is 277, 308, 298, and 281. So these are more balanced than drawdown, which means that if you combine them, there's not one of them going to stick out in drawdown periods. And this will make a smoother portfolio. Let's create the portfolio. This is an old one. And this would be the portfolio. You can see the combined drawdown of running all three, all four, sorry, is $370, while the individual drawdowns of each strategy was around 300. So you can see that it's not four times 300 if you make a portfolio of different strategies. Of course, this, this assumes that the uh, strategies are not too correlated. If you're going to make, let's say, five strategies on gold and they're all a bit the same in an equity curve, of course, the drawdown period will be bigger if you combine them. But in this case, it's very nice, 370 drawdown for four strategies instead of 300 for one strategy only. And you should also have a growth curve, which is more smooth, which you can see here, than the individual strategies themselves. All right, and then the final step in this process would be that we have to determine the lot size settings for each strategy so that we can, ten, can maintain a overall drawdown of, let's say, 20% in this example. So we want that this portfolio, which has a drawdown of 370 within the individual uh, lot size settings adjusted like we did, but then we want to automate it so that this $370 would be 20%, no matter which account size um, you run it on. And in order to do that, we're going to have to make some calculations again. So what we know now is gold is running, for example, at 0 0.03 lots. 0 0.03 lots to get a total drawdown of the four strategies of 370. So now let's assume that 370 is the maximum drawdown for 20%. That means divide by 0 0.2. So this is possible on an account of $1,850 or bigger. So if the account is $1,850 and we run, um, we run gold at 0.03, US tech at 0.6, GPY uh, pound uh, yen at 0.04, and our GPY at 0.02, we know if we use these lot size on an account 
of 1850, the maximum drawdown would be 20%, or in this case, around $370. So now we're going to have to calculate the lot size step for each one so that we can apply it on a live account. And how we're going to do that is simply by calculating using this number, 1850, and the lot size as uses. So let's take, for example, gold. We have to try to find out what the lot size step will be for gold. Well, we know it's 0.03 on an 1850 account. So the lot size step would be 1850 divided by 3. We have to try to make it up to 0.01, which is 616. So what we're now going to do is just going to note it down. Gold lot size step is, and the number was 616, but I always increase a little bit because you never know in the future it might be a bit different. So lot size step 630 for gold. The next one, US Tech. So we had 1850 divided by 0. Point uh, divide, divided by 60 better, because we want to go to 0 0.01, which means a lot size step of around 30. So US tech, lot size step is 30, but we're going to increase a little bit. Let's make it 40. Next one, pound yen is 1850 divided by 4 is 462. Let's make it 4080. And then the last one, out yen, is 1850 divided by 2 is 925. 925, so let's make it 950. So now we know for each one what lot size step we're going to use if we want to run the four strategies on one account. Take an account that minimum balance should be... 1850 for max 20% drawdown. And these are the lot size steps we're going to use for each one. And then we have a balanced portfolio that should not exceed 20% drawdown and would have a steady equity curve like the one shown here. And that is how I set up my portfolios. This is what I do to make sure that all strategies in one portfolio are nicely balanced and you don't have certain uh, strategies that stick out with their drawdown uh, or outperform the other ones. So I hope this was a useful video on how to create portfolios and how to set your lot size and lot size step. It's a method that I've been using for many years to create uh, balanced portfolios and I think it's really important that you know and you learn how to do so in order to improve your trading. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon again.